Good afternoon. Um, so today I'm actually going for a camping trip. Just a quick one, um, not so far from where I live. Actually, I'm at Loch Acre. Um I'm going on a campsite, um, but it's one of the Forestry Commission campsites, so it's not really like your normal campsite where everyone's just shoved into a field. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd do a little video on it because like camping videos are always nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just on my way there actually. Um, I'll show you where we are. Uh, so if you can just see the lock down there, that's Loch Acre. I actually didn't realise until recently that there's actually a campsite on it. Um, I have seen people like on the other side of that. I'll just get out. Get out. <laughs> yeah, I had seen people on the other side camping before, but I'd always assumed that they were just wild camping. Um, but yeah, I am slightly apprehensive because it does seem like pretty full booked, and I feel like when you're actually on a campsite, like it very much depends on who else is camping there like on how your experience is going to be so it might be a night of hell or it might be perfectly fine and um, i guess we'll see right, I'll, i'm gonna go and drive around to it now um so i think it's down here i pitch i'm on pitch three i guess it's down here oh it's right close to the water actually i thought it'd be a bit further away looking at the little map of it yeah i've got my firewood here and my tent, which I nearly forgot, which <laughs> could have been interesting. <laughs> so this is my pitch, very nice. Uh, they're a lot more close together than the Lockcon campsite that I was on. Hence that should have gone for one of the ones through there, they're a bit more remote, but ah, this will be nice, this will be fine. Beautiful views down there. I'm always madly embarrassed about how big this tent is for one person. It's a Banshee Pro. 300 um, It doesn't quite look right This bit But it actually looks fine inside Is it touching? Yeah, it's not touching or anything <sighs> Looks pretty good um, Yeah, I bought it about three years ago um, And when I bought it, my partner decided he might want to join me on camping So I got the three-man tent um, he immediately decided camping's not for him, so I'm stuck with this massive tent for just me. But it's actually fine, it's um, pretty good light. I don't ever struggle with condensation or anything. I've done something weird here. What's going on here? Um, I say just since I've camped, actually. I've, I've done something wrong here, I can tell. <laughs> I've kind of forgotten my tent pitching routine. <laughs> Is it this? Nice. Oh, it's quite nice here, it's actually, I mean there's people, oh there's something wrong there, that's, that's something in it. Um, yeah, there is people around in that, but no one's been a nuisance yet, so can't complain. <laughs> but yeah, I like this tent, it's been very enjoyable so far. But yeah, I'm not actually that concerned if it's not upright because the weather forecast is pretty decent for tonight. Um, just a bit of rain in the night, but I'm leaving quite early in the morning because um, it's my duck's birthday. So I kind of want to do a camp, have a nice time and then be home for breakfast so I can give him a special breakfast. Okay, I think the issue is that. That's okay. Ah. Ah, it'll do, it'll be right. Um, I've just got caravan cushions that I'm just going to put in as a bed tonight and I've got my bedding from home. Um, I have worked out that whilst I enjoy camping, I hate sleeping bags and camping like sleeping arrangements so I'm just going to bring my home stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, not 
Ich bin mal viel hängen zu gehen. Ah, this is gonna be my view tonight. Um, I'll put my fire pit there. I brought a chair to be luxurious. I can just see the lake over there. Um, midges are already out, so that's fun. I've got to bring any smidge. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to decide what to do now. Um, I did bring my big, massive camera to take bird pictures, which should be good. Um, I had initially kind of planned on bringing it to the tent and just sitting in my tent taking pictures of surrounding birds but there is a lot of kids around and I feel a bit wrong like wandering around with a big telephoto lens so I'm thinking before like, I settle down at camp I might just go and get my camera now and just go for a walk out in the forest like there's a massive forest behind all here is massive forest um, so yeah, maybe I'll just go for a little walk and do a bit of photography now for an hour or two and then come back and finish setting up my pitch and get a fire going. Um, really hoping I can get my fire going tonight because um, my camping stove, I left it in my garage and my partner took the keys for the garage so I couldn't get to it. So I might be having sandwiches for tea, <laughs> but <laughs> nah, it should be fine. I've got a blowtorch, so I'm sure I'll eventually get it going. But yeah, it's... Oh, I can see a duck. There's ducks down there. But yeah, I definitely can't sit here with a telephoto lens, like, photographing ducks on the lake when there's kids playing around over there. That would be very wrong. Yeah, so I, I'm going to go back to the van and get my camera. That's what we'll do. I'll take you along. Let's go and see what birds are around. This is actually quite nice. So this is the campsite. So I've gone for that one there. I was thinking about one of these and maybe I should have done that. But I'll no doubt be here again. It's quite handy, it's only about half an hour from where I live so. Uh, so this was the way I came in, but I did see a little path going off, so I think I'm going to go along there and just see what birds are about. So I've come up here, um, I'm not hearing much in the way of birds, but there's quite a few moths and insects flying around, so I might do with photographing them instead. Um, there's one just landed down here, so I'm going to go at that. Yeah, it's ages since I've just been out doing photography. I've kind of been focusing more on the videos. Um, and this lens, look how beautiful it is. Um, <laughs> it's a wee bit big for me, like doing handheld videos. It's fine if we get a tripod on it, but I usually forget the tripod. Um, so yeah, it's been at home a lot when I've been out and about. So it's quite nice just to come out and potter around and take a few photographs and just remind myself how much I enjoy it um, but yeah I kind of hope to see more birds and do bird photography because that's my favourite but it's pretty quiet um, but there's a lot of flowers around so they'll do
Benvenue there. Benvenue, I should say. Looking rather fine. It's quite a funny mountain. Sometimes it looks pretty massive and other times it looks like not much at all. That's nice today though. Not so much on this camera, and the other one's way too zoomy to show you, but just trust me, it looks good. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm quite enjoying myself, um, just taking it slow and pottering around here. Um, what I really like about photography is not so much like the end photographs, I don't really care too much about that. I mean, it's nice to get a nice picture sometimes, but it's like the process of it, like... I've just spent like 20 minutes just sitting looking at that ragwort and watching the I guess bees I think they were some sort of insect I think they were bees um, and some caterpillars uh, crawling all over it and you know I got I got some I guess all right pictures of them but I just find like looking through the lens of the camera especially this one where it's so well I've just seen the dragonfly thing damselfly probably um, oh, there's loads here. Okay, I'm gonna stop here and try and take some pictures of these. Um, but yeah, this because it's so zoomy and like specific on one thing. <laughs> I'm sure there's a more technical word for that. Um, it's really good just to like concentrate in on one thing and yeah, it's really good. It's a soothing thing to do. So that's what I enjoy about it. It's just like wandering around and kind of getting into nature and like working out where the nature will be, like, I keep seeing rowan trees around and I know birds will be in the rowan berries um, things like that, just like, it really makes you like put your eye into the nature and focus more that's what I like about photography, not so much the actual end pictures but like I say, a, a nice picture will be nice at the end but that's not the goal of it at all um, and it's something I've kind of missed a bit Looking at the details, I guess. Got Ben Ann through there. Looking beautiful as ever. So I haven't actually done that much walking in this forest here. I mean I have like on the edges like in different places but not I've never been down here before. <laughs> um so I think winter would be a good time to come and explore this forest properly. There is um uh it's called the Three Locks Forest Drive. I think it's about three miles around. Um but there's a lot of like paths in between the driving path driving path there's a word for that <laughs> the, the road that people drive around there is a lot of paths in between and i've not explored any of them i've done the road but not not the paths so i think i'll be back in the winter as i say it's not far from where i live this um obviously i've done a lot of the walks around here but just not this forest itself so much i have on the other side of that road over there that i'm quite familiar with that around Benvenu. Um, but yeah, that's that'll be a good one for winter I reckon. Um, but for now I'm actually going to start ambling back. Um, in terms of video uh, you won't have seen much because I've literally just been sitting in various places along this path looking at flowers and insects and attempting to take pictures of some of them and some success, some not success but I don't really care, I'm having a really nice time. Um, just not very video worthy um, but yeah I'm gonna wander back I'm getting a bit hungry so I'm gonna set up my tent inside and get the fire going soon I think I don't I, I don't know how to time the fire really because I kind of want to eat and I'm gonna rely on the fire to eat but I do only have one sack of wood because I think it was £8.50 and I wasn't gonna buy two sacks of wood so I'm a bit limited on how long I can have the fire for and it's probably going to be quite midgy later, so yeah, it's about timing it <laughs> so that it's not too late for eating, but not too early that the fire runs out and I get midged alive. Big decisions today. 
Um, but all the same, I'm going to go back and sit on my tent and probably read a bit, just potter around and yeah. <laughs> So that's me all set up now. I've uh, got my chair. Bit of luxury that. Um I've got my bed all set up. Just a normal duvet, look how cute it is. Oh, guinea piggies. <laughs> Much better than a sleeping bag. Um I also have a blanket in the car. In fact we've got multiple blankets in the car, but it's really warm so I don't think I'll need it, but I'll see how I feel like when the sun goes down later, but but yeah, it's um I think I'm just gonna read for a bit. Um watch the world go by for a bit and then maybe in an hour or so like that and get my tea doing. Uh, I'm gonna do fajitas tonight. Uh, it's very basic ones actually. <laughs> um yeah, I'm not really a cook, but the idea of cooking over a campfire is quite appealing. So I'm actually quite looking forward to that. Um, I don't have any light equipment or anything, so I'm literally just going to have to sit there and hold a pan over the fire and not, hope I don't burn myself, but I'm sure I'll be alright. But yeah, that's for later. So I'm just going to let that get going a bit and then I'm going to make my tea. So yeah, I've just got halloumi, some onion and red pepper and some fajita spices. It's simple but it'll be delicious I'll have it in a wrap and I need to cook it without burning myself or burning the food it's been some burning but it's been all right it looks pretty banging to be honest with you Pretty enjoyable meal that. Even the burnt bits added to the flavour. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and wash up now. Um, I'm gonna take my bag of food and put it in the van. Yeah, so apparently there's pine martins around, which is really cool. I'd love to see one. But I don't want them digging through my tent to get to my food. So I'm gonna put edibles in the car. It's actually hot water. That's unexpected. Um, so yeah, we've got like what has been seen here. See one of them. I was looking at the pines, wondering if there was one of them around. I've seen them. Oh, be cool to see that as well. Um, but yeah, pine martin. I guess we definitely don't want that breaking into the tent at night. Oh, <laughs> I love a rat. Oh, beavers, yeah. There's beavers on this. 
uh, up the other end I've seen that evidence of them but that's cool if they, they probably will be swearing around um, but yeah I've not brought my big camera down to my tent so I won't be getting any pictures of them I might on the way home though um, but yeah I'm just going to very carefully put this in the van and try not to spill it in the van and let it soak overnight and then I'll just throw it out in the morning and let the dishwasher deal with it when I get home Yeah, it's actually really nice here, I like it. Um, the clouds are now, but earlier I could see Ben Leddy up there, which was nice. And you can see Ben Anne through the trees, through there. All very lovely. But now I think I'm just going to park myself in front of that fire. I've got a bar of chocolate, I'm going to sit and eat that and read my book in front of the fire until the wood all burns out or the midges get too terrible whichever comes first got my book on my phone chocolate which I've already half eaten a fire and a nice view pretty good way to spend an evening It's actually quite a lot darker than the camera's showing now, but I've had a lovely evening just sitting by the fire and um, there's been a mouse running backwards and forwards amongst this log thing, which I've really been enjoying. <laughs> but yeah, I've just sat here for the last three hours <laughs> reading my book. I can see the lake over there, there's ducks and that. It's been really, really nice. But yeah, uh, I guess we'll see you in the morning. Good night. morning um slept really well last night actually it was lovely quiet campsite um i just slept in quite a bit it's like half eight or something just enjoying just chilling in, in my bed and reading a book still <laughs> ah it's gorgeous here isn't it um so yeah i think what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pack up my tent which won't take too long and then i'm gonna head home but, um, so the beavers, I was thinking about, like, I was going to see if I could see any. So for a while, I've been in this, in the area where the beavers are, I've known about them. I've seen evidence, I've not actually seen beavers themselves, but I've seen, like, the trees that have been chewing down and stuff. Um, I've obviously not said anything on, like, my videos and stuff, because I kind of thought they were a bit of a secret. Um... But then, I know, like, last night when I saw that they had the sign up saying that there was beavers around here, I'm guessing it's not a secret. So, yeah, I was planning on stopping where I know that the signs of beavers just to see if there's any around. I was planning on going home earlier than what it is. Um, but, yeah, I might take you along and we'll see if there's any beavers kicking around because I'd love to see one. I've got my big camera today. But I probably won't, but I'll be able to see, show you some trees that I've been... Not <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna go and pack up now. Um, yeah, I haven't got anything to boil water, so I can't have a cup of tea or anything. So I'm just gonna head home so I can have a cup of tea. Yeah, and it's uh, my duck's birthday. I think I said yesterday. So I'm gonna go and get him some watermelon and some peas and 
was nine today, which is quite a good age for a duck, so I think he's going to spend the day in the garden eating his treats. I uh, definitely spent too long breathing in smoke last night. My throat is all gone for. Yeah, it was a lovely evening here. Yeah. I would definitely recommend staying here for a bit. packed up. Um, they asked me to leave that. I think they like to clear them away themselves. Yeah, I love how easy my tent is to pack away. <laughs> it's all very dry as well this morning which is nice. But everything I own is smelling really really smoky <laughs> after last night so. Yeah it's gonna be a lovely day. So I'm scouting for beavers. Quite quiet. I think realistically, if I want to get a photograph or even see a beaver, I think I should come here with a hide and just sort of sit in a hide for a day or two. And I, I am just like sticking out like a sore thumb here. I don't think I'm going to see anything. Yeah, it's quite nice here. It's lovely. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to see a beaver. I'm not in any way camouflaged. And I come here in the winters because you can actually see all the. What's that? Yeah, I come here in the winters. Um, you can see all the trees that are being chewed down and stuff. And I feel like in the winter, like you can sit back over there and wait, which I have done, but I still haven't seen any. But I feel here I'm a wee bit in the way, so I'm going to leave. I right, saw so this. You can see like the trees have been nibbled down here. This is a now beaver pond. This is new. This little pond here. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure the beavers here have moved in fairly recently, like maybe three or so years ago. That's only when I started noticing them. But like this landscape, like it's already changed so much, and it's really interesting to see. Like this pond, like I said, it wasn't here before. Like. I assume that frogs will be able to spawn here now and that is a whole different environment for wildlife which is really cool. So yeah, I definitely need to get a little wildlife hide, I think, and go and spend a few days out here and see if we can see one. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of activity around here, which is good. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave the video here because I'm just going home now. I'm going to go to the shop and get stripes, some watermelon, and some peas, and me some breakfast as well. I'm starving. Um, so, yeah, um, if you made it this far, as always, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video on this. I feel like these camping videos is like I'm not actually doing anything but I like watching other people's camping videos so I'm making it but it seems like nothing's happening <laughs> but yeah um thanks for watching I'll see you in my next video